In the previous videos, we've taken a look at how projection can be used to apply that fix across the entirety of the sequence. However, it does rely on the fact that you have access to a camera and some geometry for your current shot. And if for some reason you can't get access to those or you can't make them directly inside of Nuke, planar tracking can provide an excellent alternate solution. So in this video, I want to go over the rig removal planar track setup tool set. I'm gonna to cover it top to bottom and show you just how planar tracking can be used to fix up this shot. It's worth noting up front that planar tracking does rely on the fact that the surface you're tracking is as flat as possible. And whilst the edge of the road here isn't entirely flat, it is flat enough to give us a good result. So let's just jump over to the right here and take a look at our rig removal planar track setup toolkit. So at the top here we only have a single input, just the plate, we don't need a camera and we don't need any geometry. And inside of here there's really three sections. In the first part we're going to generate a clean plate inside of Nuke using the first frame of our sequence. In the second section we're going to plane our track our plate and then we're going to use that plane our track to warp our clean plate into place across the entire shot. And then finally in the bottom section here we're going to merge our clean part of the image over the top of the original plate. So let's hop up to the first section and take a look. Now this should be pretty much second nature to you at this point. What we're going to do is frame hold our plate, our sequence, on the frame that we want to clean up. In this case it's frame 1. I'm then going to degrain it because as you know we need to degrain our plate before we do any cloning or anything like that. We're then using a roto paint node to add in that fix. So this entire left hand side I'm just cleaning, uh, sorry, cloning the clean parts of the image over the bits that I want to clean up. And if I just toggle that on and off with the D key you can see we're really cleaning up that side and getting rid of this skid mark in the middle of the road as well. Finally we're isolating just the parts of the image we need and I'm pre molting that as well just to isolate this and give it that alpha map. Now that our clean plate section has been created we move on to the planar tracking itself. So inside of here you can see there are two backdrops, one which says track and one which says transform to plate. Now in this track backdrop we have our roto node which contains our planar tracked roto shape. Now once you use this setup yourself you want to come up here to where it says none and add a new track layer and inside of there you can then add your roto shape exactly like you would when rotoing normally inside of Nuke. Now the interesting thing with the planar tracked roto shape is that every point on the shape will then be tracked throughout the entire sequence. So if I play this back, what you can see is that every point on it is maintaining its position in the image across the entire sequence. And this gives us transform information for this part of the image. Now with the planar track in place we can then use this button up here on the uh, toolbar above the viewer to create one of a couple of nodes. We can either create corner pin 2D nodes or we can create tracker nodes. Now in my case what I want to do is create a corner pin 2D relative baked. And if I click that it's going to spit out this little tiny corner pin 2D node down here in our node graph. So let me just close up my roto and I'm going to drag this over into the uh, pipe beneath our clean fix. Now if I view this corner pin 2D, you can see we go back to seeing just our clean plate fix, but if I now play back, we're using that planar track information to warp that fix to match the sequence on every single frame. Now finally what we need to do is merge this warped and transformed clean plate over our original footage in this bottom backdrop. So if I just click our merge and view it, you can now see that our clean plate is perfectly matching our image sequence on every single frame, thanks to that planar tracking information and that corner pin 2D node. So that is how you might use this toolset to planar track a fix into place across an entire shot. Again, this is useful if you don't have that camera or geometry information, although it will only really work if the surface you're tracking and the fixes you're adding in are perfectly flat inside of your sequence.